Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was the man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. But Father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells. With a combination of 20th century analog cloning and the Super Baby Method. Super Baby Method. They fertilized an egg with one of Father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus, and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. So, perhaps I should be grateful to this kid for that. This is my son. I taught him everything. Jack, I never thought I'd see you again. You... know me? You don't remember. Your name, your skills. Everything you know, you learn from me. The 80s, a civil war, and you were one of the best among the child soldiers that fought in that conflict. When you were barely 10 years old, you became the platoon leader of the small boy unit. At the time, your outstanding kill record earned you several nicknames, including White Devil and Jack the Ripper. Jack, I was your godfather. I named you. When the war ended, you disappeared from the Relief Center. I wondered what happened to you. I should have known they would recruit you. Happy birthday, Ripper. Here. It's yours. Now, blow out the cap. Ten of them. One for each year of my life. Solidus calls them Liberian terrorist scum. He tells me they've killed innocent Americans, that they deserve to die. I don't care. I only know what I have to do. I lightly caress the man's neck with the edge of the blade, as though preparing for the first stroke of a shave, feeling it out. Searching for just the right. Ten. That's it, boy. Keep going. Nine. Blow them all out. You don't get your wish. I don't care. Eight. My wishes never come true anyway. That's my little. Jack the Ripper. Solidus, my so-called father. He seems proud of me. I don't 
care. Seven. I'm ten years old today. And I don't care about anything anymore. Yes. I can see it in your eyes. You're beginning to remember it now. The late 80s. The Liberian Civil War. You were one of my best child soldiers then. Your outstanding kill record earned you several nicknames, including White Devil and Jack the Ripper. The sad fact is, you were too good. Your bloody exploits caught the attention of my erstwhile employers back home. The Patriots. It wasn't long before their agents stole you away from me. All that work, all that time I invested in raising you after your parents were killed. Gone in an instant! Don't believe one word of their crap, Ripper. I can promise you, this is all very real. This is 1990. This is Liberia. This is your past. End of story. But... But I... Look at me, boy. Who are you gonna believe? Me? Or these Patriot spies? I raised you as if you were my own son, Jack. Who the hell are they? Do you really know? They are... Genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then I'm going to go beyond. In order to break the curse of my heritage. <laughs>